Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part third of question number first. Again, you have to check whether these two linear equations will give unique solution, no solution, or in fact many solutions. For that, if you want to solve them algebraically, for that you have to first of all find the ratio between their coefficients. So first of all, convert this into the standard form. So this will be three x minus five y. And this when shifted to this side uh, will become minus 20 equals to zero. This is our first equation. And this will be 6x minus 10y equal uh, minus 40 equals to zero. This is our second equation. Now let's find what should be the ratio between their coefficients. So our a1 upon a2 must be equals to 3 upon 6. A1, A2 are the coefficient of x in both the equations. So ratio is basically 1 by 2. After that, let's find the ratio between B1 and B2, which is which are the coefficient of y. So the value of B1 is basically minus 5, and the value of B is B2 is minus 10. So again, the ratio is 1 by 2. Similarly, find the ratio between C1 and C2. So C1 and C2 are basically the coefficients. So which is so this is again equal to 1 by 2. Because are all the ratios are equal means a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2. So we know that this is the case for coincident lines. Means when these two lines are drawn on a graph paper. They will overlap each other. Means these two lines are basically the same line. And in that case, we know that these two lines will give infinitely many solutions. So this is the answer for this particular question. Thank you.